Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Today I'm joined by Stu Curry from Barton ABC in Salford. How are you doing, Stu? Yeah, good, Russ. How are you, mate? I'm all right. What have you been doing since I last spoke to you? Hey, you know what, Russ? We're back in full swing at the gym now. The kids are back in. I've got all my kids back in. A couple have left. I've had a few kids join me from other gyms. We'll talk about that in a bit. But um, oh. yeah, we're back. We're back at it, mate. I'm enjoying it again. Yeah, uh, forty-four today, Stu. Forty-four today. That's it, pal. Yeah. Many happy returns. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. No problem. Uh, let's talk about what's been going on in the sport of boxing in the last couple, in the last month or so. Uh, what do you what, yeah, do you, yeah. what do you think about? Uh, What's been happening lately? Yeah, I thought that was a good show Saturday, to be fair, mate. The matchroom show, I thought it was pretty decent. Some good bouts, huh? I didn't. I thought yeah. it was shit. Did you? I thought it yeah. was shit. To be fair, I only watched four bouts and I only, and I watched them the next day. The one I watched Hatton versus Levi Dunn, uh, Eubank Jr. bout, the Jonas Taylor and the Chisora Parker. Uh, I know Levi Dunn, actually. Good lad, good kid. Jonas Taylor, safe show, I thought. Yeah, it was a, oh mate, what an advert for women's boxing that was. Fantastic, that was wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that jo Jonas, mate, she's thirty-five and she's stuck it out. Do you know what I mean? She's thirty-seven, she's mate. She's oh, 37. she's thirty-seven. Right, okay, go on, my mistake. All right, uh, but fucking hell, mate, what a fight that was! Yeah, fantastic, good, good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jonas, were, Natasha Jonas, were in a fight at year with Terry Harper last year in That's magazine. Right, yeah. I this thought year. she got. I thought she should have got the nod in that one myself. This year they're saying that uh, this that we're going to be the fight. That's going to be the fight of the year as well. So, will it no. be another? Will it be another one that they don't get the rematch in? Uh, I don't know. I think Katie Taylor will fight anyone on a day. I mean, she boxed up for soon again, didn't she? So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But uh, what did you think of Young Campbell Atten's second bout? I think he's shit. I don't like him. Uh, he struggled again, mate. He, he looked a bit scrappy, but he looked better than his debut, to be fair. So, his improvements there, isn't there? No, I, I don't see improvement. I don't want to see him on telly, mate. I, I don't want to see him on pay per view. <laughs> fighting no. men, fighting men that are super bantam, jumping up three ways and not, yeah. had a win, not had a win. And last guy, we're not on 10. I don't want to yeah. see it. It's a gimmick and it's what's wrong yeah. with boxing. What I'm, you know, say, what I'm saying is what everybody's saying. You're not going to say it because you're from Manchester. Right, I know oh, what I know what I've, people say behind the scenes, so I don't want to say it. If I've got something to say, mate, I'll say it. You know, but all right, all right, then. Well, not fair enough, but this is how I look at it. Right, he should be on small all small all shows. If he's going to yeah. fight that kind of opposition, I don't want to see that on pay per view. No, no, he's just got to know his dad is. Tell me yeah. his dad's best three wins. His dad's best three wins. Yeah, go uh, on, tell me. Cost a shoe. Over ill, shot to bits. Come oh, back, yeah, wait, go on. Yeah, that's uh, one. Lewis Castillo in Vegas. When he Over went ill, there. life and death, shot that's two. Uh, ben Taki. They, no, Urango, I'd say. Urango? I don't know, yeah. Ben Taki, mate. He, well, he Ben Taki. All right, then, that's it. They're not roadman killers, though, them, are they? Tazu no. were, but he were over ill, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, mate. Carefully so. matched, because he was a big ticket seller. Gimmick. Yeah. And this is what they're yeah. doing with his son. But he, he looks like it's even worse than the father. So I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't want to see. I don't want to see him. His dad's got millions. Give him a few quid. Set him up in a business. Yeah. Give him a job you know as a, him a job as a plaster or somewhere. I don't want to see him on yeah. pay per view. Do, do you know that kid who he bought so, mate? Levi Dunn. He will come good. I, I, I've been in Curtis's gym, mate, and I've watched him train and I've watched him spar, and he's a good, good, solid kid, mate. He was out right. of his depth on Saturday, but right. well, I if, he right. gets, if he gets down to Super Bantam or Featherweight, mate, he'll, he'll be putting people away. Right. The kid is not on four, isn't he? And he's a Super Bantam, yeah? What's yeah, he but he's took, he's took fights because of the pandemic and he needs to put food on the table. And he's yeah, to, I can he's... see where you're coming from. Yeah, who's, who's advising him, though? Uh, Curtis Gargano manages him. He's a good mate of mine, Curtis. Right, fella. well, if that were anybody else, though, we'd be hammering him, though, wouldn't we? Well, we would, yeah. But... Yeah, well, there you go. But he's your mate, isn't it? Would you put somebody in a in a fight, three fight, three weights above? No. For a few quid, so not, he's not being looked after, then, is he? The kid. Nah. Now he's your yeah. mate, but we have to talk yeah. facts here and starts. 
Three yes. weight divisions were jumping here. Not one, not yeah. two. Ted Rogers, three. And the kid's not had a... The kid can't fight for Toffee at Super Bantam because he's not and four, and they're putting him in with somebody three weights above. Do we see yeah. a pattern here? And nobody's saying a word, are they? Nobody's saying a word. Ah, oh, it's me pal, it's me pal, it's me pal. Everybody's yeah, everybody's not, fucking pal. He shouldn't be in ring I'm with him. I'm not def I'm not defending him, but he's just doing what he thinks right for him, just to keep him well, going. Do you know? Well, the, the kid obviously do not want a long career, does he? Because you're jumping in with people three weeks above and you've not had yeah. a win at a lower weight and you're not yeah. stopping people at lower weight. And Campbell Atten couldn't even get him out there and he's three weights below him. So where's he honest, heading? Mate, to be honest, I don't even think he's boxed at his natural weight yet. He's just took the fight because they've been there for him, you know what I mean? It's so, wrong, I'm you know. I'm not condoning it. And oh, I'm not, no, I'm not, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. I'm not defending it, but that's boxing, isn't it, Ross? Well, we keep saying that, but somebody's going to get hurt, aren't they? Three weights above, come on. Look what we said about Kel Brook jumping from welter, missed super welter, jumped straight in the middle. No, yeah. uh, everybody were going crazy. He's only missed one weight. This kid's, this kid's jumped up three weights. Yeah, Kel jumped up two, whammered him. And look what happened to Kel. Now, fair enough, it's Campbell Atten and he's a feather duster man. Can't punch. He can't yeah. punch. Eddie Hardy yeah. smashed him up, mate. In Doncaster, smashed him to bits. It's a gimmick, and I don't want to see these gimmicks. And it's killing the sport, mate. Honestly, it's killing it. It's sending me crazy. Give me an ultra. <laughs> it's yeah, sending me mad, mate, and everybody's defending it. Hey, it's a pal, it's my pal. I don't want to fucking yeah. hear it. Yeah, what about when somebody gets to it? There's no fucking pals then, is there? They all run for hills, don't they? Michael Watson got it on the Barry Hearn show. Barry Hearn disappeared. Yeah, it's a beard, mate. Left it to Frank Warren to help board out with thousands of pounds. Oh, yeah. man. I don't want to see right. his gimmicks. All right, moving on to Eubank. What did you think of Eubank's return? I think he's another gimmick, mate. I think he's another gimmick, mate. I think Ty and Boo would have beat him if he'd have had a longer camp back in the day. But yeah, he, I remember that fight, yeah. yeah he, beat, that. he beat Marcus Morrison. Yeah, Ty and Boo beat Marcus Morrison as well. Look, he beat Marcus Morrison, fair enough, but Marcus Morrison showed up and he, he, I think he's now going to make a name for himself off back of that because I think he won three rounds. I gave him three rounds against you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was close. And I, think, and I think that, I think, I think he'll do well. I think he's a decent kid. Uh, yeah. He might win a British title if he's matched correctly and I think that'd be a good achievement for him because I think he, yeah. was taught, he was torn between being a footballer and a boxer, wasn't he? Something like that. I, I do uh, remember some sort of story, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, what did you think to uh, Natasha Jonas against Katie Taylor? What did you think to that fight? Yeah, yeah, like I said at the start, it was a good advert for women's boxing, mate. It was a good scrap. Um, probably put the blokes on the bill to shame, to be fair. Yeah. Good fight, yeah. mate. Good fight. I enjoyed it. Uh, to, be, to be honest, that's one show I've actually enjoyed watching this year. Yeah, yeah. But um, I just can't wait to get my kids back out boxing again, mate. They're, they're, they're chomping at the bit now. I just want to get out on shows and uh, hopefully well, we can. We'll speak about your kids at end. Right, let's finish off on this show here. Uh, yeah. Bivol, Craig Richards. What do you think? I didn't watch that one, mate. That's the only one I've not seen. I think oh. I missed that one. Well, so, Craig Richards fought out on his skin and Bivol didn't perform to the best of his abilities and I thought Craig still lost. But Terry think, seems to think that Craig Richards was the best light heavyweight in country now. I, I yeah. say it's Callum Johnson. I just wonder what you thought about that. Yeah, I'd go with Callum Johnson, mate. Definitely can bang. He puts people away, doesn't he? There you go, Terry. You're outnumbered now, two to one. <laughs> is that your uh, Terry from uh, London, is it? Yeah, Terry the banker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, got, he got a right job in you now. Yeah. Oh, got a right job, mate. Honestly, but then again, they get big dough down there, don't they? Yeah, he talks very well, though. And you talk. Oh, Sheffield University educator, born in Zimbabwe. Not yes, right. Zimbabwe, I think. Uh, right. Derek Chisora, Derek War Chisora, and Joseph Parker. Did it stink the arena out? Yes or no? It wasn't the best, mate. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to see a rematch? No, definitely not. Definitely not, mate. Um, how many pay-per-views is Chisora going to get on now? How many losses has he had now? Well, he's had three with Sky. He had one with Warren. Yeah. Pay-per-views? 
pay-per-view. You had that one at West Ham United ground with Aiden. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The Kevin Mitchell show, weren't it? Yeah. yeah. Now, Derek Chisora's got 11 losses. Yeah. And he's now talking about rematches with right. Joseph Parker. Who in the right mind wants to see that? Baba! Yeah, I don't want to see it, mate. Who wants to watch that? That's shocking, I mate. I don't want to see that again, do you? No, I fucking hell as like want to see <laughs> that shit again. Jesus yeah. Christ. No way, mate, do I want to see that. I want to yeah. see Derek Chisora put out to pasture, but they're not going to let him do that. They're going to put him, they're yeah. going to MMA him, UFC, whatever. He'll be punching for pay till he's 14 and can't yeah, talk. You know what, mate? He'll, he'll end up like Danny Williams. Remember Danny Williams? He's already like that now. He's talking like that. He's not as bad. He's not as bad as Danny Williams at the minute. But he will end up that way if he carries on. He took no. a lot. Of, he took a lot of shots, didn't he? As well. People like Derek Chisora and your Dave Allen's of this world. That, that that's yeah. where they're going to end up, mate. That's where they're going to. Yeah. The only alternative is the job centre. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the latest on Dave Allen? I know he's, he's fighting he's over here at Dennis's now. Yeah. Hanging out of the back of Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he going to put a shift in? Is he going to put a shift in in the gym though and get himself listen, fit? Because... I walk my dog every day over at Viaducts, right, in the morning. Dave yeah. Allen's supposed to be this roadman killer running in the morning. I've never seen him once. And when <laughs> I li- and when I lived at back in front of him, he was at back of me. I never yeah. seen him do it there once. And then he come out of the week and admitted that he didn't train as a pro yeah. and he's retiring and now he's back. Come yeah. on. What's happening yeah. here? Like it's Kid's the gonna get hurt. He's gonna get hurt. Yeah. He's gonna get hurt chasing a few poxy quid. And yeah. everybody's gonna put their heads in the sand if he gets hurt. And it's yeah. in front of our eyeballs. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Are you pretty surprised that Dennis has took you back, Low Rubs? No, I know Dennis, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Got a profile, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's all. That's all. He got a profile, and Dennis will want his investment back. What he put into him when he had him for his first seven fights, won't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, Dennis always said he'll come back in and because I said oh, I've had a word with him. Dan, he didn't want to sign me. He's happy we had it. Dennis went. He come back. Well, he come yeah. back, hasn't he? When Eddie got well, fed up of him. If you know, you know, don't you? I suppose these people know, don't they? Dennis has been around block. He's got the pedigree under the dot. Daft. Look, there's no. no. There's no, no, it is what it is. Dave Allen knows boxing. There's no mates. People can say your mates and put your arm around. There's no mates. No, Promoters no. don't do mates, they do money. Yeah, when your brains are splattered all over the place and you stood at a bus stop, they drive by you and get a wave. <laughs> After that. <laughs> Hi. But it is what it is, but Dave Allen's likable. My kids and my kids' mum, they like him a lot. My yeah. dog even likes him and he is likable, but He's made wrong decisions and doesn't yeah. listen. There's no so, shortcuts to success. For example, when you're nine and oh and a draw, you don't fight Dylan White, who's no. world, world ranked. You get beat then, and then you get punched about with 10 rounds. You don't then fight Luis Ortiz, who was WBA interim champion at world. There's no, no shortcuts. Dave no. Allen's not got a belt and he's talking like Scooby Doo. He's gone full circle. He's gone back to Dennis. So he's yeah. wasted seven years of his life, hasn't he? Well, he's probably made a few quid along the way, hasn't he? Yeah, but everything that I said and Dennis said had happened has happened because when you're outside the picture, you can see it. And he got yeah. taken in by that match room. This is my new best friend, Dave Allen, and I'm Eddie Earn. But where's his media job at Sky that they were promised? Yeah, not there is yeah. it. It's not there. They give him a load of crap, didn't they? It didn't, it didn't work out, did it? They move no. on. You move. They move on, don't they? There's always somebody else to move to. But when you're a young lad, you're impressionable. You can't see it, can you? So it's his own fault, isn't it? I've got no. Yeah. Yeah. When I made mistakes when I was his age, I was in front of a judge and they're handing years out. He makes <laughs> mistakes. He goes to hospital, doesn't he? Yeah. Two mate. different. Two different worlds. I've yeah. still got my brains. I, my brains are intact. Well, a little bit. His brains are not intact. Either they're, they're, they're disengaged from fucking yeah. whatever whatever makes his brain work. But whatever makes his whatever floats his boat. But I don't see him and Dennis lasting. I don't see. It. I see a clash. 
I see De Dennis coming out saying, well, Dave's not covered his sin in glory and blah de blah Don't whine. That's what I see. But I wish him all the best. I wish Dennis yeah, all the best. We'll just have to see what happens with that one, Ross. Mm. Right then. Uh, Dazone and Sky, what do you think to it all and, and the, the situation? Is Joshua going to stay with Sky? Uh, <laughs> Joshua, Joshua will go wherever the gravy train goes. Basically, where, whoever's offering him the most money. Yeah, can Dazone afford to take Joshua on, even though they've got Canelo as well? Um, not at the minute without these crowds in, but once the crowds are coming back, I think it'll be a different ball game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, regarding your fighters. Yeah. Who have you got? Who's any good? Who's next big star? Who's going to be national schoolboys or CAG, NCGs or whatever they're called? Yeah, well, uh, I got an email. I got an email, I think, from Boxing last week and the championships are starting in September. The schoolboys are going to be the first one. So I've probably got three or four that are capable of holding their own in them championships. I don't, I'm not going to put kids in just for me to get there, Josh, you know what I mean? You've um, got a couple of good kids there, though, aren't you, Stuart? Yeah, because I've sent you a few videos and you've liked some yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, some of them will look good. One of one of them, the uh, 154 kid. Yeah, Max, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's his name? Max Boys. Max Boys, where's he from? It's just down the road from me, Presswich. Presswich. Yeah, well, yeah. Max Boys, come see me. Let's have you on the <laughs> channel. Let's have you on the yeah. Zoom. How old is yeah. he? Uh, he's just turned 18, Max, so he's a senior now. Well, he, he, he looks like he might do some of him. Yeah, he'll do some. I've got, mate, I've got loads of kids in that gym that no one's even seen yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're unboxed, but I know they're going to do something. But I, I'm a big believer in them skills bouts, Russ. Yeah. I'll let a yeah. kid have his, have his eight skills bouts before I even put him in a bout. Eight? Is that how many after they're allowed? Yeah, they're allowed eight. So I'll let him have the eight. Why, 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 why let him have two and then put them into a bout straight away? Like you know Eddie I mean? <laughs> Yeah, well, I've, I've, got, I've got a Filipino kid there, Daniel. Daniel Vasara, Manny, Manny Pacquiao, we call him, because he's a oh. double of Manny Pacquiao. He's had four skills bouts. I took him to Liverpool on a skills show, yeah? He nearly stopped the kid in the second round in a skills bout. And the ref said to me at the end, I, he, needs, he needs to go into bouts now. I said, mate, I'm his coach, I'm his trainer. I'll decide when he goes into bouts. Yeah. So he's going to have another four and I'll just put them on our show if, if need be. I'm letting him... I'm not going to expose these kids at an early age, Russ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, why should you? No, why should I? I'm not in this game for financial gain. I'm not getting anything out of him. I'm not going to pay for my house by putting a kid on a show. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense. So uh, I'm not rushing him, mate. I'll put my own skills about show on. And I'll put my own shows on and I'll just bring them through steadily. Some kids don't like that, though. They want to be, they want to be in bouts. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. when you sit them down and you explain it like I'm explaining it to you now, and it sinks in, they're happy with it. Mm. So, I lost, I've lost a good kid. I've lost a senior kid there because, obviously, the pandemic was on. He wanted to be boxing all the time. He wanted to be spat. He's had two bouts, mate. He's training with pros at another gym. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, we go back to the Dave Allen thing. Is he, He'll end up getting hurt. Or someone needs to get a grip of him and say, well, you've only had two bouts, mate. Let's bring you on steady. Do you know what I mean? But um... yeah. You see, I have a problem with British Boxing Board of Control about the Dave Allen situation because why would you put a guy mm. who's central area level, who, yeah. not, who not won a central area, but when you're 9-1-1, one, one, uh, yeah. why would you be going in with Lewis Ortiz or Dylan White <coughs> when, you, when you're undefeated going in with Dylan White? When you're not yeah. central area... I don't get that, and I have a big problem with that. And yeah. obviously, we I also. Remember, uh, I remember years ago the board used to uh, not sanction certain bouts. Do you know what I mean? Well, now so, it's all about money. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, so uh, I've just had two kids join me from another gym. Well, one kid joined me from uh, Gary Booth's gym. Good kid, Cole Churchill. So whenever good, anyone, yeah. whenever anyone comes to me, Ross, right. I do the right thing and I'll ring that trainer up and say, look, so-and-so's training with me. Or don't do it, Snyder. I don't need to poach kids, yeah, because, mm. like I said, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not asked if there's five kids training at my gym or there's 55. I'm not making no money out of it. It makes no odds to me. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I see. I see. I see what you mean, mate. I see what you mean. Yeah, you so should... I rang Gary. I rang Gary. I explained it to him. He was sound. The thing is, I said to Gary, "Don't take it personal, Gary. You've moved gyms from where your gym is in Earlham, yeah, you, the one you went to above the co-op." Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's all right, him, Gary. I like him. Yeah, he's sound. He's sound. I've known Gary twenty odd years, and he's moved just to the opposite side of town. And these kids can't. Some of these kids can't get there, so. The kid messaged me and asked, could he come down? I said, yeah, come and have a look. He come in. He said he was going to go to another couple of gyms and, and get a feel of somewhere else. And anyway, he trained with us. And the next day, he sent me a message saying, I don't need to look at other gyms. Can I, can I join you? I said, you need to let Gary know you need your medical card back. In fact, call Alrin Gary. And I rang him. I did the right thing. I mean, the gym where that kid's gone, who's had the two amateur bouts, no one's rang me from that gym to, 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 to explain it. The kid sent me a message on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? So there's morals and there's laurels, isn't there? You know what I mean? So Morals and there's laurels. That's a good one. <laughs> I might start using that one. There's yeah, morals like and there's laurels. Jesus. Yeah. Is that a Manchester saying? I don't know. I heard it somewhere. I just used it. But uh, do the right thing. Do the right thing. So that's what I do. I'd like to think I get on with all the other coaches in the area, and you know, even if I, you know, I'll, I'll just ring them, and, and it's right. It's the right thing to do in my eyes. So yeah, have you had any of these? The cold, the them cold Costa coffees. Oh no, no, no! I've seen one of your videos where you were swigging one, but uh, no, I haven't. I haven't had the do you know when I've had one? Do you know when I've had one of them? I'm not being that funny. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. up for a day, but uh, proper, uh, better than any pre-workout drink. I just wonder if you'd had one. No, I might give him a try, though. I'll give one a try tomorrow. I might be How's the one. tomato soup? Can't even have crackers now. Yeah. For so, eight years, I've been dipping crackers in soup. I have. A, I started off after my band with this. My favourite soup yeah. is Asda soup. Tomato. <laughs> eight crackers with loads of butter on, rye beaters, and one a full tin. Yeah. Eight year down the line, it's a third of a tin. Yeah. And one cracker. Now it's not even one cracker, it's all fibres built up right band. I'm, right. Gonna be like, I'm gonna be like that, and people are gonna be coming up to me going like that, flicking me right in, so porky, I'm me a fiver of her. <laughs> I'm gonna be getting taxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you know. uh, when's training at your gym for your fighters? Uh Monday, Wednesday, Friday, half six to eight o'clock. Sunday mornings would change that now it's not 10 to 12 it's half 8 to half 10 because um, there's another another guy that uses a gym for a circuit so we've had to we've had to bend a little bit but I'm in there every night Russ when I'm not coaching the kids Monday, Wednesday, Friday I'm in there yeah. doing my own little thing on a Tuesday, Thursday might be it in the bag myself but if one of the kids are in I'll, 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 I'll pad them you know what I mean so and how uh, how much is it for kids to join your gym it's, it's, so if you're a junior, under 16s, £5 a year to get your membership card with your number on it and £10 a month subs, standing order. Seniors, £10 a year membership for your card and £15 a month. But you can train every day. You don't have to... Yeah. It's not just Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday morning. You can go in and use the running machines, go in and use your weights. It, it's open, do you know what I mean? So, so it works out at a minimum of 30p a day then, doesn't it, to train? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's fantastic, mate, and it's great facilities in there. You know what I mean? So thirty p a day, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of these boxing gyms, mate. They're charging kids four pound fifty a session. Do you know what I mean? Never, never. Three times a week. I couldn't afford to send my son to a gym at four fifty a session, mate. Well, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's a lot of money, that isn't it? I know yeah. uh, dancing. I know somebody will price dancing lessons up. For their kids in, in, in Cunningsbury, and they were telling me about it. And I said, Well, how much is that a month? And they were telling me, and I said, Well, it's like a little, it's like a little mini mortgage, that for two kids. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. My daughter, my daughter's 23, and 20 years ago, I think I was paying about 35 quid a month for dancing lessons. Oh, it's more than that now. You can, you can, oh, yeah, you can imagine it's going to go up in it. But... 200 quid a month for two kids to go dancing. I mean, oh my yeah. God. Get a decent car for that. Okay, then, uh, we'll finish off on the Tyson Fury-Anthony Joshua non-event. What do you think <laughs> about it? And we spoke about it before. And do you think now, yeah. after, after 11 months since it's been signed, do you think it's becoming 
you think they're just taking piss out at fans with these announcements about announcements about announcements? Yeah, it should have been put together by now. And I mean, I know we've had no crowds and everything, and that does yeah. need a crowd there, doesn't it? It needs 80,000 oh, at Wembley. God. But I think Wilder's just going to throw a spanner in, mate, and and, and t- take the third fight with Fiora. Yeah. I do, yeah, he's, and he's well within his rights, isn't he? So, yeah, you know, he, he'll take another loss for ten, fifteen million dollars or whatever he's going to get paid. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he, he, he could, he'll just pop up at the at the right time, mate, and say, "Right, I'm ready. I want that fight," and then yeah. he'll just go back to. The longer it goes on, though, you've got to favour Joshua, aren't you? The oh, longer this all day long, aren't you? All day long, yeah. yeah. Because he's training yeah. through it, isn't it? And I, I don't know if Tyson's training all the time now. They can say they are. They can put little yeah. clip, clips on Instagram for 20 seconds and that, but that doesn't, yeah. tell, that doesn't tell the whole picture, does it? No, no, not at all, mate. Not at all. No. Right then. Okay, well, listen, I'm going to let you get off because I know you're going shopping with her indoors, aren't you? Your Doris. No, I'm going, for, going for something to eat for my birthday, Ross. I don't know how we're going to flop on yet, but... We'll, uh, we'll Why see. don't you go to that Rio Ferdinand restaurant in middle of Manchester? What's it called? Beans with Est, isn't it? Uh, no, Rosso. Rosso or something like that. So, yeah. nah, you, you, you've got to go to places that have got outdoor seating. Oh, have you? So it'll probably just be something cheap and cheerful. Weather spoons, mate, around the corner. Beer garden. Yeah. So, yeah. But... Um, I've invited you over to a gym, Russ, whenever you want. Yeah, to yeah, I'm going to come over. I'm going to come over and I'm going to uh, hopefully bring uh, a camera team with me when I do come. I don't want to spend yeah, on my own and do a cheap thing. I want to, but we, only, yeah. we only have them one day a month, you know, because it's that expensive. Because you know what, Russ, I'm a big believer, right, in seeing is believing. And when you come in that gym, mate, and you see them yeah. kids working and try, training and sparring, you'll be like, fucking hell, this is great. Yeah, well, I've, when I've, when I've, got, when I've, I've got six six kids there that haven't even had a skills bout yet, and they're, and they're already at a decent standard. So, like well, I said, it seems to be I've got uh, there's yours on list. Yeah. Mick Wales gym on list, and yeah. Lee Murta, you know, at Bethlehem gym in Leeds, he does a lot of work with Crawford Ashley. I've yeah, got, I've I've got them uh, three on, on list, and I'm yeah. going to try and do all of you in the next three months. We've just done one. Yeah, uh, I did that Mickey Fio thing, and they do. I try and do helmets on the same day as well. That like, saves a bit, <laughs> helmets, of, yeah. saves a bit of dough, doesn't it? If I can get a two for yeah, one. Yeah, and then uh, ho- hopefully we'll have a show at the end of August before the championship starts, so you can you can come yeah. over. Yeah, I'll be over your... before then. I promise you. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, get get you the, I'll get you on the guest list for the show as well, mate. Oh, when... brilliant! Probably get me yeah. head stoved in in Manchester from John. Fury. Nah, you won't. You got look back. <laughs> Big John Fury fighting man that done fight gonna get me, gonna yeah. rip me up, gonna tear me limb from limb. It's only a bit of banter, isn't it? Look, I just yeah, want to see him and Mick. I want to see him fight. Yeah. John shot his mouth off. Mick said yes, please. And but somewhere along the line, it's all got muddled up, a bit like Joshua Fury. It's all got muddled yeah. up, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, mate. like yeah. I said, it's all good stuff, isn't it? We're not out. Well, we're, we're out in the next couple of weeks going around various gyms, doing a bit of sparring and going up to, uh, hopefully, go up to Denny Matthews' gym. Well, he's uh, all right him, Denny Matthews. I've got a lot of time for him. I were a massive, massive Denny Matthews fan. I saw him ice yeah. Tommy, Tommy Coyle. When he iced Tommy Coyle, everybody went... <gasps> you understand? Yeah. It all goes quiet, doesn't it? When yeah. Denny Matthews lowered the boom. <gasps> he shut them all up, all them codheads. Yeah, so I've sent him a list of what I've sent him a list of our fighters, and he's uh, he's going to get back to us see if we've got. Well, that's fair. brilliant. That's brilliant because he Denny is one of them. He don't take out out of the sport, you know. No, 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 no. He did a corner with me one night over in Liverpool, mate. You know what? It was it was fucking great just having someone like him in that corner. You know what I mean? Do you know what I want to see sorted? I want to see sorted Derry Matthews belt from WBA because I sent an email. And, I want, and they sent me a reply, and I sent it there. And I want to see him, because he won a world title at a regular, and they tried to yeah. say you were an inch him, and I'm not sure they give it belt. I want that tying up, because I class him as a world champion, Derry Matthews. Yeah, right, same, and I think I that's know. only fair that they nip that in the bud. Yeah. Well, yeah he, won that WB, he won that WBU version, didn't he, when he was younger? 
Yeah, but he, like I said, he won WBA regular. And they give some people it as regular when they're saying he's, in, he's interim, but it's saying melt. So I think that yeah. should be sorted out for Derry. So, he's yeah, yeah. been a good good servant to the sport, you know. Yeah, he has, mate. Yeah, he has. He's oh. a nice fan. So hopefully, okay. we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get over there next weekend. Speaking of the WBA, we'll finish off on this. Don King's offered Mike Tyson a shot at Trevor Bryan for WBA regular <laughs> world title. What is it to that? He'll take it, though, won't he? It's a mate. He'll well, take it. The, I didn't know that. WBA have said yes. I know, mate. That's just, that's money talking again there, Russ, isn't it? They've got but to be, that. now, the worst sanctioning, sanctioning body out of the lot. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Gil- Gilberto Mendoza, you are nothing but a shit house. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't blame Tyson for taking it, mate. If it's put in front of him, he can still do a job, I think. So fair play, fair play to him. I don't see him being able to deal with Trevor Brian Me, He's been out at ring 17 years. Come on. Yeah, I know, mate. But you're talking Mike Tyson here. He can still have a fight, can't he? Come on. Come on. Sure. I'm talking as a big Tyson fan, aren't I? I'm, I'm letting my uh, head run on my heart. Aren't Who's Mike Tyson's <laughs> best three wins, Stu? Best three wins. <laughs> Got Burbick first one. Who? Burbick when he won the title. Go on, yeah. Uh, Razor Ruddock. Yeah, he never won a world title, but yeah, go on. No, because that was a good hard fight. I'll tell you who, who one of his best fights was, Mitch Green. Mitch Green, he never won a world title either. No, but he was, he was, he was there and thereabouts, weren't he? He was, he was, Mitch, he was a dang- Mitch, was a dang- Mitch Blood Green. Yeah, it was a dangerous <laughs> fight for Tyson to take, and it was his first time round, there, weren't it? So there are his so, best three wins. In my eyes, I mean, yeah, well, what you gonna, what, what, what do you want me to say? Bruce Seldon, Frank Bruno, Peter McNeil, they're all just fucking whitewashers, aren't they? Well, what about Michael Spinks, Larry Holmes, uh, Tony Tucker? Larry Holmes over the hill. Well past his best. Tony Tucker, yeah, you could swear with that one. Uh, Michael Spinks, you know, he's fighting to death, weren't he? Undefeated beat Jerry Cooney. Yeah, I know, but look at him, mate. He, he, he was like a rabbit in the headlights. Like heavyweight. You know I mean? So Mike Tyson's CVs, really, it's a bit pishing it for hype around him, isn't it? Yeah, he was blowing a lot of people apart, but he's still an explosive fighter and he's still a legend, isn't he? So, well, I were explosive in school playground, hitting people who couldn't hit back. <laughs> <laughs> no, belting. I'm I ruthless, like I'm ruthless, aren't I, Stuart? You are, mate. That's what I like about it, mate. I like it. I okay, like it. then. Well, listen, you have a great day and happy birthday, yeah, Stuart. Yeah. All, any happy returns, all the fours, 44. Yeah, cheers, my mate. You take care, pal. And you, Paul. You make bye bye. Bye.